welcome to medi simple fight today we are going to discuss about the few recall image questions of the recent fmg december 2019 exam from the following subject that are anatomy biochemistry ent and ophthalmology so starting with anatomy first starting with anatomy the question which was there it is the level of celiac vessels the correct option answer was t12 other option which was given were t10 l1 and l3 l1 is usually for superior mesenteric vessel and l3 is usually for inferior mesenteric vessel so the correct answer for this was t12 the correct answer for this was t12 so the next question was correct answer was t12 next question was ligament of which muscle is checked uh, don't um, i don't think this is the proper word but act the the main the main purpose of the question was to check to ask which muscle is which muscle's ligament has been what to say tabbed during patellar or knee jerk so the correct answer was quadriceps femoris other option which was given were biceps femoris biceps femoris other option which were given was uh, biceps femoris also they gave i guess quadratus quadratus instead of quadriceps so this is what the second question was coming to the third question which of the following does not pass through parotid gland and the options were ica external carotid artery retromandibular vein etc so according to me the correct answer should be <coughs> ica internal carotid artery next question highest le- highest level of iliac crest many people say that it should be l4 some few say that it should be l3 but the correct answer as such is l3 not l4 so the correct answer for the highest level of iliac crest is l3 injury to injury to occipital lobe which artery may be affected the correct affected the correct answer for this is posterior in, inferior cerebral artery many people are having doubt on this answer but according to me this should be the best one next is there was a question about <coughs> sorry there was a image of biceps muscle and they asked ab- us about the nerve which is supplying to this muscle the image of biceps was given and they asked which nerve supplies to it so the answer for it was musculocutaneous nerve next question was trigone of bladder its origin it is the correct the correct option which was given was a uh, distal part of mesonephrida it is in hall mesodermal in origin but the correct option which was the best answer for this was the distal part of mesonephrida another question safety muscle of tongue and it was genioglossus this was the recall questions which i have yet till of our anatomy other questions which were there one of them was the image of biceps Uh, sorry brachial plexus which we already discussed in the image once and uh, there was a hip x-ray we'll talk about it in radiology or orthopedics so this was all from anatomy what we have till now now let's talk about the biochemistry now let's talk about the biochemistry so biochemistry so the questions which came from biochemistry were the following zinc is required for many option were given and there the correct option which was there was carbonic anhydrase kashan's disease selenium deficiency i hope everyone of you have marked it right then the next question in skeletal muscle which glute is there which glucose transporter is there the correct answer was glute 4 uh, other option which were given were glute 6 glute 7 glute 11 but the correct answer was glute 4 sorry glute 4 were the correct was the correct option 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मेलानिज डिराइव फ्रॉम द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर इट वॉज टायरोसिन मैनी ऑफ पीपल वे कन्फ्यूज आर यूजली कन्फ्यूज फ्रॉम ट्रिप्टोफैन आई टेल यू ट्रिप्टोफैन इट्स फॉर मेला टोन इन एंड मेलान इज डिराइव फ्रॉम टायरोसिन सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज मेलान इज डिराइव फ्रॉम सो द आंसर शुड बी टायरोसिन now coming to the next that is which protein which which type of protein i would rather say which type of protein doesn't undergo denaturation the option were primary protein secondary tertiary and quaternary the correct answer should be primary cannot further denaturate next question which enzyme which will we check for b1 deficiency there are there were four options out of which people were confused in pdh that is pyruvate dehydrogenase and transketolase the correct answer should be transketolase because for pdh we have five enzymes five coenzyme i guess and b1 that is tpp is one of them but for transketolase the only one uh, coenzyme that is tpp so we, from that we can measure the b1 deficiency i guess which are true for dna uh, for unusual four out of which one usual one was the correct answer that is thymidine adenosine guanosine and cytidine instead of the they give this the nucleoside instead of giving uh, the nucleotide or something so this way and the complex four of the electron transport chain is inhibited by the correct answer was hydrogen cyanide no doubt most abundant in collagen the doubt is between proline and glycine i'll say that the correct answer is according to me glycine most abundant protein collagen and the most the most uh, abundant amino acid in collagen is glycine so this was about biochemistry we had many more questions this is what i able to recall till now next now talking about the ent the whole and soul the first subject which may be simplified begin with the ent the question of ent were as follows the first question was uh, which of the following pairs of muscle help in opening and closing of the eustachian tube the correct answer for it was the correct op- answer for it was tensor villi palatini and levator palatini tensor villi palatini and levator palatini now most common cause of uh, malignant otitis externa the correct answer for this was pseudomonas uh, aeruginosa now npc most common present presents with many option was given and the correct answer for this was neck node i hope it was a uh, very easy questions now talking about the next question uh, it was there was a history of a patient um, this is what i we are able to recall till now from our colleagues a patient with tonsillitis and shift of uvula to the opposite side and shift of tonsillar pillar towards midline, midline the correct answer for this was quincy now next question was ebv causes epstein barr virus causes nasopharyngeal carcinoma was the answer nasopharyngeal carcinoma now most preferable preferred treatment of nasopharyngeal carcinoma there were many question from nasopharyngeal carcinoma once again most preferred treatment of nasopharyngeal carcinoma and the correct answer for that was chemo radiation the other options were chemotherapy were surgery and radiotherapy but the correct answer for this was chemo radiation so many student ended up by marking radio or chemotherapy but the correct answer was chemo radiation chemo radiotherapy together now the next question uh, menias disease all of the following is seen except uh, low frequency hearing loss ablation is must idiopathic endolymph pathology i don't know it can be ablation is must it can be low frequency hearing loss out of this two one should be the answer because uh, there is fluctuating hearing loss we can take it as a low but ablation is must uh, is uh, 
so my my more my for according to me most more appropriate should be ablation is must if accept is asked and but let's see what is the correct answer i'm not sure but it is one out of this two that is low frequency hearing loss or ablation is must Ex all except the question was asked next question protrusion of adam's apple is due to which cartilage the correct answer i hope everyone has marked correct that is the thyroid i've heard from many other students that they marked in the pressure of exam as a cricoid but the correct answer was thyroid constant and largest cell of ethmoid air cell the option which was given was ethmoid bulla was the correct answer other options which were given were agar nazi and other by options of this thing the correct answer was ethmoid bulla now the there was a question about office headache is due to that is the frontal sinusitis so this was thing and few more question uh, uh, history case history was given about a lady without helmet falls was road traffic accident comes after two days here is the comes after two two days with a clear fluid with a clear fluid discharge from nose and the correct answer for this was csf rhinorrhea many other options were given like uh, upper respiratory tract infection or something else but the correct answer for this was csf rhinorrhea as the clear fluid was mentioned as the clear fluid was mentioned so that's it next question all of the following can be done in csf rhinorrhea except if it is a CSF rhinorrhea, I hope the correct answer of except was asked. So the correct answer should be nasal endoscopy. That's it. Now talking about ophthalmology. Ophthalmology, uh, there were many questions, I guess about nine, 18 or 19 questions. But this is what I remember right now from the... We discussed already three, four images in the, I guess, four questions in the image section of ophthalmology. Now talking about the theoretical. First easy question, keratometry is used to measure curvature. Other option was given as thickness and thickness is done by pachymetry, I guess. Next, in myopia, rays fall. Option, other option which was given were posterior to retina. And the correct answer was anterior to retina. Other options which were given were anterior to retina. Anterior to retina was the correct answer. Other options which were given there was posterior to retina, medial to retina, lateral to retina. So medial and lateral was useless. Only one, uh, two options were there. Anterior to retina and posterior to retina. Posterior to retina is for hypermetropia. Hypermetropia and the correct answer for this question was anterior to retina. Now going on to the next question. Advantage of contact lens over glasses many four options were given the correct answer was for about this one decreases the prismatic effect so i don't remember the correct option but uh, not the exact wording but the it, it it is better for it avoids the prismatic decreases the prismatic effect this was the correct answer then there were two question about the inflammation i guess another one was there which answer was calazion for this question the inflammation of mubovian gland the correct answer was internal hordeolum now the two question from the optic tract i guess one was bitemporal hemonopia is related to the correct answer was pituitary adenoma then one was bitemporal uh, the history of history of was given and the bitemporal uh, superior quadranopia was given two options were there uh, so chiasmal glioma and pituitary macroadenoma i don't know what should be the correct one but i'll go with the chiasmal glioma so that's it that that's it from in this section thanks for watching us please keep like share and subscribe our channel in the next video uh, most probably we'll discuss all the short subjects or the three p's that is the pathophysiopharma along with some medicine question Okay, so thank you. That's that's what all we have in this section. Hope you have marked all correct and soon we'll get a good result. Thanks for watching. Keep sharing. Thanks. That's it.